Hey, what's up guys? A little something different this time around. I wanted to check in with you and talk to you today about your creative health. By that I mean everything in between mental, physical, spiritual, emotional. Um, I'm going to be doing a couple of these just to check in, give you some tips and ideas to keep you and your creative juices flowing. Uh, be a, whether you're a writer, artist, graphic designer, what have you. Um, when you're sitting your butt in the chair all day doing your work, it can get exhausting. And today we're going to talk about mental exhaustion and a couple of the things you can do uh, if you're feeling stress or strain to keep you on track towards obtaining your goals. One thing is, right now, as you can see behind me, uh, I'm fortunate enough that this uh, beautiful lake is across the street from where I live. So just getting outside helps. Um, get out into nature. I'm sure there's a park or even drive out to a mountain range somewhere where you can go and just get out. You got to get out of the house or the apartment sometimes and go and reflect and you know get some fresh air. Um, another thing that you can do that one of the tips that helps me out journaling. Um, I get up in the morning or even at night and I just write down just write down things that are on your mind. You know things that you want to uh, to talk about and you know sometimes it's very isolating as a writer or as an artist um i'm in like self-isolation right now um don't really have a lot of people to bounce things off of but what you can do is get a journal and write down some of these ideas so that you're not you're not curling up with them at night um and they're not you know festering in your mind it's good to get these thoughts out on paper and then the good thing is you go back and you reread some of this stuff and you see how far you've come since then so um, get outside, journaling, meditation is good. I know you hear that a lot from a lot of these self-help gurus and so forth. It doesn't have to be like so involved. All, all that means is, you know, again, you get out somewhere quiet with yourself, um, but not in your usual circumstances. You gotta get out somewhere else and like really just touch base with what's going on inside of you and just reflect. It doesn't have to be anything more than that. And, and to be honest, you can combine the two. You can do meditation and then right afterwards you can start uh, journaling um, in, in your book and whatever thoughts, feelings, and emotions come up from the meditation, just write them down after that. So that's uh, another thing that you can do. And, you know, uh, if you're really feeling a strain and struggle, reach out and talk to someone. Friends, family, there's services available. If you're really feeling down, feeling the pressure, um, you don't have to go it alone. Um, there's, there's, there's sources out there that can help you. And another thing that I want to, uh, for last one, last tip, uh, and we're gonna, I'm gonna go more in depth on this because, uh, again, sitting, sitting all day or what have you, um, it's really a lot of strain, not only mentally but also on your physical body. So I'm gonna go more in depth onto some of the tips and tricks to, to uh, assess that. But exercise, I am a big proponent of exercise. Um, to flush out any negative emotions or mental strain that you might be feeling. And again, you know, it doesn't have to be a gym. You can, you can pretty much, if you've got a body, you can work out. You can do body weight exercises, old school calisthenics. Again, get outside in nature, do a run, what have you. Um, but those are just a couple of things to help you out, keep you on the straight and narrow, keep you functioning at your creative top, top health. Um, if you have any questions or comments, leave them down below. Um, and also, I'm offering a free book on my website, CynthiaVespia.com. I'll leave the link in the, the, uh, at the end here. Uh, it's called Staying Fit While You Sit, and it'll give you some of these tips that I just talked about, as well as some nutritional tips, some exercise tips. But until then, you know, stay strong, stay healthy. Guys, one more thing I forgot to mention in that whole list of things uh, to do change your routine uh like i said this body of water behind me it's right across the street and I, I, to be honest i have really not taken advantage of it being here until now and there was a lot of cool things to see um there's a duck behind me somewhere but uh yeah so changing up the routine will really help you out as well